Hi everyone, it's Laura from lauralondonfitness.com and today I have a great lower body workout for you using the Pilates Power Pro Gym. I've been loving this machine, not having to go to the gym, but doing all the things that I can do at the gym with it. So today's going to be a quick 10 minute lower body workout and I just want to show you guys this. This is the Power Pilates Pro Gym and some people have written and saying, Laura, you know, how, how is the tension? How can I make it harder? So I just want to show you. It has three levels here. You can start with it flat. You can bring it up to the second level and you bring, bring it up to the third level. And on the bottom there are four tension cords so you can make the tension harder. And trust me, you get a kick butt workout. So today I'm going to put it on the second level here and we're just going to start warming up. I have three cords on here. Number one, two and three. My legs are pretty strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit in the machine. Our pelvis and back are nicely planted on the pad. We're going to put our hands by our side and we're going to put our feet in first position, meaning our heels are together and our toes are pointed out a little. And we're just going to put the heels on that bar and we're just going to press up and come back down. That's it. Pressing up and down. Feeling the glide board going back and forth. We're just going to warm up here and I always want you to concentrate on keeping your back down on the glide board. So let's do 15 here. One, two, three, good, four, Five, and really engage those thighs when you push all the way out. Six, and squeeze them. Seven, eight, feel your core working too. Nine, ten, eleven, you got it. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, now I want you to take the balls of your feet and put them on the bar and we're going to tippy your toe up and tippy toe down. So it's just up, down, up, down. Working those calves, getting them a little warmed up. Just give me 10 here. One, two, three, four. I can feel them warming up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're going to bring our heels now on the top of the bar and we're going to come in. Our legs are together. Everything's squeezing in and you're going to give me 15. One, two, scrape for the glutes right here. Three, really feel that in the extension. Four, five, six, seven, you got it. Eight, nine, ten. This is great for doing squats. Eleven in the third position. Four, five, six. You're feeling it in your booty? I know. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, good, 14, and 15. Okay, now we're going to take the arch of our foot, we're going to put it on the bar. Actually, no, we're going to put the, the, um, uh, the pad of our foot on the ball. We're going to press out with one leg now, keeping that other leg in the air, right? Two, a little more challenging here. Three, give me 10 on each side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Let's switch it up. It's really important to work each leg individually to help balance your body. One side of your body is always going to be stronger 
than the other. That's it, keep it going. You got it. A few more, I lost count. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, bring those legs down, bring the glide board in. So now that we're warmed up, we're gonna use the flex pad here. It's almost like a mini rebounder. I love it. Watch this. You get, this can get your cardio in. So I'm just showing you today a quick workout, how to get it in, how to get it done. So we're gonna put our feet on the flex pad and we're just gonna push out and we're gonna give it a little pop. Watch this. Pop. You pop it up. Your feet are coming off the flex pad and you're getting that cardio in there. It's almost like you're doing a plyometric jump up in the air. You're gonna feel this in your quads for sure. Keep this going, look at this. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Give me 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now bring it in and we're gonna do little pulses here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in, push it back out, straight out, bring it back in. Okay, now we're going to push out with one leg and hop up there. Look at that. One, two, three, woo, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, my quads are on fire, 10, let's switch it up, push it back out, lift that leg up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you got it, nine, and 10, bring it back in, and we're gonna go to both legs again. And this time you can kick your legs out a little, like a little flutter. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, we're going for 20, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And bring it back in. Woo, feel that nice burn. Give your, bring your knees into your chest. Give them a hug. Just rock it back and forth a little bit. That was great. Okay, so now I want you to put your feet back on the foot bar. We're gonna put our legs about hip width apart and they're pointed out a little and we're just gonna press. We're gonna do some inner thigh work here. Really good. Just press out, press in. Press out long, feel everything working. Give me 15 here, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep it going. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now we're gonna come up on our tippy toes. So I want your tippy toes to be pointed, pointed up like you're in high heels and you're gonna lower but keep your heels up. You're staying in those high heels and push out. Give me 10 here. One, working those inner thighs. Two, yes. Three, four, and take your time. Five, feel the muscles working. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and stay here. Push out, now come down nice, nice, nice and slow as you can. We're gonna go halfway up and back. So it looks like this. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring that carriage in, give your knees a hug, and now we're going to take it. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show you our next move in this lower body workout. Now we're going to do some stationary lunges. I put the Pilates Power Bro Pro Gym down to the first level and we're going to place our foot on the reformer and we're just going to do a lunge up and down, a nice stationary lunge. So give me 15 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's it, seven, keep it going, eight, we're really working those quads, nine, ten, you know you can always challenge yourself a little more and hold on to weights, I think we're at twelve, thirteen, yes, fourteen, and fifteen, okay, switch sides, I want to show you all the different things you can do with this machine at home, so here we go. 15 here, one, two, three. We want to make sure our knee is straight over our ankle. Four, five, six, seven, that's it. Eight, this is nice and tall. Nine, 10, 11, 12, keep it going. 13, I know you're feeling it. 14 and 15. Okay, we're gonna step off that. Now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things to do on the Pilates Power Pro Gym. And we're gonna be using the ankle strap. Okay, so another thing I wanna show you is the headrest. The headrest has two positions. It can be flat or it can be up like this. So that's just another thing that we can use. Now these, let me tell you, this machine virtually comes out of the box ready to use. It took me five minutes to unpack it, read the directions, and hop on here and start experimenting. So there's so many things you can do. I'm gonna show you, these are the leg cuffs. So what you do is you wrap them around your foot like this, and then that's it. So we're going to put the other one on and then I'm going to show you how to use them. Okay, here we are with the leg strap on. You really didn't need to see me getting into them, but you get the idea. They're very simple to put on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some leg circles. So put your arms down by your side. Make sure your spine is on the mat. Your booty stays on the mat. It doesn't lift up and you use your control. So I like to keep my feet together, toes pointing out. A piece of hair in my mouth, okay. And we're gonna bring those legs down and out and around. That's it, these are beautiful leg circles. We're working lower body, the hip joint, your core is engaged, you're using it. These are beautiful. I do these at the Pilates studio where I go also. And again, there are four tension cords on the bottom, so you can make this easier or harder. And you can also put the back up in the different positions. That's it. So give me a couple more here. Let's do three more. One, two, and three, and now we're gonna reverse them. We're gonna go the opposite way. So now I'm going up and out. Two, pointing those toes, keeping the back nice and flat on the glide board. Beautiful, you guys are doing a great job. Couple more here. My couple is a three, so here we go. One, two, and three. Okay, now let's bring those knees in. We're gonna bring the knees in 
heels are together in that position. And these are like frogs. You're gonna push out and in, keeping those heels together, really focusing. Take some concentration. You're gonna start using muscles if you're used to going to the gym that you haven't used before, which is awesome, right? This is a totally different way of working out in each half of your body is having to work by itself. It's really a great challenge. Okay, couple more here. Three, that means you know me by now. One, <laughs> two, and three. Okay, we're gonna come back into that frog position, but we're gonna bring one leg out to the side, and then we're gonna bring it up, and one leg out to the side and bring it up. Just a nice little stretch there, opening it up. One, two, and you're still keeping tension on that other leg. So let's switch, let's bring that leg back in. This one is out and out to the side for five. One, two, three, four, good. And five, okay. Let's bring those heels back together and push it out and bring it back in. Out, in, out, in, that's it. Really work it. Now stay about here. We're gonna go tiny little pulses. One, two, three, four. We're doing 15, five, keep it going, six, seven. Feel those quads working, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, good, 14, 15. Push it all the way out, bring those legs back up. And now we're just gonna alternate one leg up, whoop, and one leg out. Let's actually, we're gonna do both together. I think that's gonna work better. Up and down, making sure your hips aren't coming off that glide board. Toes are pointed, core is engaged. You got it. Couple more here. One, let's do five. Two, three, beautiful, four, and five. Okay, bring those in. We're gonna take the leg cuffs off now and I'm gonna add in a cardio move. Now we're gonna add in a cardio move. Again, just giving you all sorts of different options you can do with this machine at home. So here we go, we're gonna start here. I'm holding on to the foot bar and we're gonna alternate doing heel kicks for 30 seconds. Here we go, get ready. One, I don't even have to count. We're just gonna keep it going for 30 seconds, getting that cardio up, that heart rate up. That's it, kick those heels up, ladies. Kick them up. If you can only get them up a little, get them up a little. Whatever you can do, this is your workout. Here we go, my dog just had a shower. I don't know if you see him running around in the background. He's too funny. Okay, here we go, ready? 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That was awesome. Okay, we're going to get back onto the power, Pilates Power Pro Gym, and we're just going to cool down here a little bit. So let's just go our legs. Take them up and down, nice and gently, bringing that heart rate down. We'll do 10 here, 10-ish. Couple more here. And three, and let's switch the legs. We'll do 10 here. One, you feel that heart rate coming down now? Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. All right, bring that glide board in and gently, and we're going to sit up, okay? And now, let's just, if you can, you can crisscross on your, um, on the glide board. If not, just let your legs hang down, keep them straight, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna put mine up here. And we're just gonna take some nice deep breaths in. Look up at the ceiling, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You did a great workout. That was just a quick lower body workout. We're gonna um, just stretch out to the side. Hold on to that footboard. Just give it a nice stretch. Open it up in those obliques. That's another workout for the core. We'll do another day. And then gently hold on to this side and just stretch. Feel that nice stretch here. We use that body. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna kind of scooch to the edge. Just hug one knee in. Extend it out. You can give it a nice little stretch here. Feel those hamstrings, we use them. Bring your foot back down. Bring your other knee in, give it some love. Stretch it out a little bit. Pull it in, beautiful. Place it down and we are finished for the day. I loved having you. I hope you enjoyed that workout. There will be more. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and also make sure to hit that little bell so you'll be sure to get all my future videos right to you, sent to you. And come visit me at laurelonnonfitness.com. I think Jakey's coming again. Oh, no, he's not. All right, everyone, have a fit and fabulous day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.